the day he took over as governor, uh, he emphasized monetary stability as the core objective and that ultimately means low and stable expectation of inflation, whatever be the cause. Uh, some people say that, look, the Reserve Bank has gone down this path in the past and has failed. Will Rajan follow the same path or is he likely to try something else? Well, no, I disagree. I actually think that, uh, you know, the RBI was slow in responding to, uh, to the inflation initially, mm. but they actually were moderately successful in bringing uh, wholesale price inflation numbers down. I mean, the 6% number is lower than what it was uh, a year and a half ago or a couple of years ago. So I think it's, it's, it's uh, probably being too pessimistic to say that the uh, central bank really hasn't been able to, uh, to uh, tame uh, inflation. Uh, Raghu will certainly uh, be a little tight on monetary policy. He is, you know, in fact, even in contrast to Ben Bernanke, he's not a big proponent of, uh, of monetary easing kind of on an indiscriminate basis. He's not, never been a huge fan of quantitative easing. Uh, so he's actually more circumspect than uh, the, the U.S. Federal Reserve is uh, on this. Um, so that's one thing. The second thing, which he made very clear in his uh, in his speech on uh, you know his opening uh, remarks, was that besides the level of credit available in the economy, he seems deeply interested and concerned about the allocation of that credit. So it's not so much the level of liquidity in the markets, but where that that money is going. So, for instance, his his uh, you know his, he mentioned that banks should not need to hold so much of, of government debt. I mean, right. that, because that crowds out uh, productive private sector investment. Uh, he mentioned that banks should be able to, able to open branches more easily, that bank licenses should be more available, there should be greater competition. So he's so this is a bit supply side in that sense, which is that it's not so much the level of credit in the economy, but kind of getting it better allocated, which is what he put a lot of emphasis on.